Right, good morning. Thanks for clicking on the video. I'm David Wood for Bag Up TV. This is Luke Armitage. And we're on his way today to Boston Lakes for the Goldenrod Feeder Championship. Qualifier. Qualifier, yes. Not the final. Well, nice to go through to the final, wouldn't it, Luke? Very nice. Um, but yeah, the qualifier. So, teamed up with Luke again. We're not fishing as a pair today. Um, it's individual, so if he gets next to me, he's getting smashed up. Oh, I like that. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, we're gonna. It's it's nice in it, Luke, to come out and uh, have a go at these big events and uh, see what we can do. Something a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely. Um, we just had a, a nice breakfast at Tobre. Luke, Luke's favourite, isn't it? Big Tobre. Let's just hold the camera while we go around this corner because Luke's crazy driving this morning. Well, I took six wrong turns, so it's better than last time we had eight. Yeah, we. For some reason, here we are, yeah, this is right. Look cursed, aren't we, really, we bastards? Yeah, for some reason, when we come to Boston, we always take a wrong turn in it, and we go divert, don't we, for about ten minutes. Sat-nav never seems to work. Yeah, we just can't get sat-nav right, can we? Maybe it's just us, Luke. That's it, man, up here. So, we're here now, anyway, and... It's not been fishing great, has it? We just talked to one at regulars, and he said, like, I think £35 won the, won the whole match. And you needed, like, £10 to win your section, didn't you? Yeah. So, and I remember fishing it last year, and I had about £9, I think, and I just missed out on winning on winning the zone from £13. So we know it's going to be tough. We're just, just hoping to draw... Draw a few, aren't we? Yeah, just draw a few and see see what we can do and if we get a few pulls it's a bonus isn't it um, we we know which sort of the carp pegs are don't we so and the kinders let us know on it yeah you've been on, on phone and yeah so um, if we draw one of them I think we just go in carp attack um, anywhere else we're just gonna fish for bream aren't we come up with a bit of a plan so let's see uh, if we can put it into if, if that plan don't work, I'm blaming Dave. Why blame me? I didn't tell you, have I? Blame Andy Kinder.
8 drum peg 7 set. Oh. Just get in. Me. Pellet feet are set up. So, we'll come all this way. Luke's too down from me. Can't get away from him. So, I've got to beat Luke for a section. Um, but well, whoever's else in there. get set up and then I'll come back to you. Come all this way, 200 miles. Show me your peg there. There we are, there's my Have peg. But where are you? Look where Luke is. Oh look, another one Luke. So we come all this way, two hour drive to Barston Lake from the worst, Barnsley. The worst on the Not gonna swear dude. No, let's not. Look at that wind blowing, tick corner though. Are you gonna chuck down there? Yeah, I'll chuck down into two foot of water. Yeah. Solid. Um, yeah, so we come all this way, and look, me and Luke are in the seat. Oh, you want The me. Right, let's let's have your thoughts, right? Comment below if you think this is the worst landing net you've ever seen in your life. I'm, I'm keeping this at a principle, because he's telling me I need to get a longer one. Hold, the, hold if, it that way, let's have a proper look if, at it. If they're upright, if they're upright, the fish, it will stay on that, no problem. You shouldn't up fish wrong. It's simple as that. Too short in it, I've been telling him. I don't want to get foul lookers in me, Dave. Comment below if you think his landing net's too short and he needs a new one. What is it? White knuckle special? <laughs> eh? Hey? Off Dave and Jeff. Off Dave and Jeff, white knuckle special. Um we don't know, do we look? We're down here at bottom, wind's blowing down, so what do you think? I quite fancy it to be honest, do you? I do I know. I, I actually do but... Look at that. Look at that there. Big cap. What do you think, Luke? I don't know. Quietly confident. I quite fancy it, mate. I think it's. I think wind's blowing down. It's an horrible day. It's not I think, cold though, is it? It's quite yeah, warm. Yeah, I'm quite, warm, me. Yeah. I think we're going to catch a few fish. You never know. We might be crying on way home in car, but definitely will be crying on way home. Um, well, yeah. We've had to break it down to bare minimum today, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. It's been a nightmare in car. We fit it all in, though, haven't we? Only just. So yeah, we're gonna give it a go. What look what you got there looking that? Special worms or something? Can't say. Oh, Stuff, some of that band anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh Luke. We're not we're not pairing up today, don't worry, he's not with me. He's only with me if he wins like Glory Seeker and that. What's that saying? The old saying goes, rules are there to be broke. <laughs> rules are rules, some, a wise man said to us, didn't he, before, Luke? Well, if we're a wise man, I'd yeah. call him a... Bit of a bell. I wouldn't well, want to say that, Dave, I want to say nice, very nice hello. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, oh, hey. is that my from, that's my from last time, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I tried nicking it, didn't you? No, not at all, mate. Say all about that. Not at all, mate. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm literally... <laughs> Make sure you don't put any roach in there. Be careful with that, Luke. Them carp that I'm putting in this hole, not be falling through them all. They'll be like 20, 30 pounders. They're going to have to be 20, 30 pounders not to fall through that bastard. So, yeah, hopefully we'll catch a few fish. I mean, like, the next peg down from where we're in UK Champs as well. We're jamming. We're jamming. What, what does, um what does Bob Marley like on his donut, in his donuts? Jam. <laughs> <laughs> We're jamming. Right, we'll leave him to it because uh, he's getting a bit too excited here. Oh dear, look at these little beauties, man. Yeah, yeah. What have you been buying now? Oh god, you hadn't. Little maggot feeders, mate. Yeah, I don't know about Are the babbies there? No, no, we're leaving it there, cooked. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Oh, right, we just started. So I'm going to put a bit of snapping short and then I'm just going to fish long for an hour or so see if I can get a cap or all like that and uh, we'll see how it goes from there so hopefully next time you see we'll be winding in a fish
got me. The skimmer man. Young skimmer.
Right, it's going all right. It's twelve o'clock. Um, I've had six bream. Not all as big as that. Though. The biggest one is that probably about three, three and a half pound. But can't get old long, so I'm just trying short lines and just picking up odd fish. Just gone dead now. Luke struggling. Said he only had a couple of liners, um, and the guy next door he's had two carp. So, but he's had one about nine, ten pounds. So, he might be still in front. But just crack on, see what happens. Now with 20 pound in one net, we got to pay. He should be on there, shouldn't he? Is it on there? No, he's got no pay. He's on the floor down there, come floor. Oh, yeah. Right, psychology boys with it, then. Yes, yeah, you're right, mate. No good, Simon. No, 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 I struggled. I'm going to think going at all. 16 metre, these fuckers. 16 metre? Yeah, yeah. What was that? 20 what? 20 pound 10 was it? 20 pound 8. Or 8. It's so awkward, aren't you? They've just made them bigger ones. Bang on. This is my small net. <laughs> We've heard that before, haven't we? Fucking hell, there's fucking nearly 20 pound here. What? It's damn fine, isn't it? Got his dildo here. Section F is 31 pound SLS. Is that there? Section E with 26 pound Presbat. Right, here's your top five overall. In fifth place with £50, Paul Cook. Oh, Cook. Oh, Fourth overall and one of our qualifiers for the final is Ralph with £50, £52.9, Paul Twigg. Oh, Third place with also another qualifier for the final was Richard Edmonds with £53.8. Oh, Second overall, unfortunately missing out with £80 to Paddy McMahon. And your winner overall today with £81, Lee Kerry. Right, guys, 
um, it's the next morning by the way because uh, it was too dark to do a video and I'm sick of doing it dark and we were absolutely knackered last night weren't we so well, I'll just talk to you about how my match went and then Luke uh, can talk to you about his oh, match he were on suicide watch last night as well so Greg, um, Greg Owen suicide watch that's what I want <laughs> yeah so I drew peg 7 uh, um, I took one for a carp first hour nothing didn't have a bite the, the guy next to me he got two carp in there and I thought oh god game over Luke were the peg down from um, between us like so you were on peg 73 and uh, you've not you've not had out did you no no no, um, no bites at all long. no I'd bites all time <laughs> <laughs> I filled it in short <clears throat> um, I had a line at about 15 metres straight in front of me and then I had a line at 10 o'clock over towards this big tree because I had uh, a spare peg other side of me and then there was I think Simon Fry he was further down there and I've chucked, uh, I filled it in on my short line, I've chucked over straight away, tips just slammed round, I got a three pound bream, thought bloody that this is alright, chucked in again, slammed round again, another bream, I were on an absolute roll for about an hour. You're bagging weren't you, yeah. I bet you put 20, I bet you put between 15 and 20 pound in there in an hour. Yeah, easily, easily, and I kept looking at my watch and thinking bloody that, I've, and he caught two carp next to me, I thought right, I'm back in front now, um, but as, as it happens, it died for about 45 minutes uh, and Luke come up and said, chuck for a carp, chuck for a carp, because you might win the zone. Um, but I thought, it was one of them, do I chuck for a carp and sit there and not get out or do I keep on my bream lines and try and pick up a couple more bream? So it, we're, it we, didn't really, we didn't really know, did we, what he had, you know, him on... 60 now we didn't know what we had we thought he had 30 up pound and dave knew we had about 30 up pound yeah. so i thought I, I just i want him to try and get a cap and just seal it like but it, if, if he'd have got two cap i don't think he'd have done it would you they'd have had to be in big fish yeah but then again barson if you get one carp they're like 12 pound yeah. sometimes so but i think even if i had chucked for carp i'd have needed at least three well I, we know now i'd have needed at least three yeah. but at that time i decided to stick on me Bream lines and I picked up three bream in last uh, hour. So, and that has just won me the section. I weighed in 36 pounds 12 ounce, <clears throat> and I've just done the guy next to me by three pounds six ounce. So I did him. Uh, further out section, there were some superstars in it. Luke were in my section. Not a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dean Barlow were in our section. Tommy Pickering were in our section. I beat Tommy Pickering. Uh, we had the Freedom Masters, didn't we? Um, what's his name? John O'Driscoll. Thought he'd retired. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I ain't seen him for a while. Bit. Thought he'd been down there with John Kelly. Yeah, I know. Well, that's it. Um, so, yeah, I, I was really chuffed to be honest. And I won my section, picked up 50 quid. Give me a battery on my way. Um, and Luke, Luke, were, Luke thought you were going to do it, didn't you? Uh, no, I fancied my peg, though. You said it's not always best peg, though, that no, didn't I'd, you? No, I don't like it where you were. I mean, but, the only reason we fancied it was because wind were blowing down, didn't we? Well, we, we, what did we say to each other before we think it? We set all his gear up, didn't we? We'll get ready to go. And then we're like, you walked over to me, you brought them next. And I went, Dave, I think we'll catch, we'll, we'll catch short. Yeah, yeah. We said, and we said, we'll fish short, which we did. Well, we all both took one for a car, didn't we? Came yeah. short. But difference why well, yours went round and mine didn't. Yeah, true. <laughs> and I think... <clears throat> picking I think, odds and sods up, mate. That's all I could get, just odds odd skimming and that, do you know? I do think it's because you were in that corner and, and that, that corner at Barson is just it's just no good. Even in summer, the carp just don't come down there. I just, it's, it's like the only other issue I had, I, no disrespect, it's just hard, it isn't it, you know, like, but them pegs where we were, yeah. at 82, and you know, where I was seven, it's like you're restricted. But I don't think some people realise sometimes how far they're chucking across yeah. the folks' pegs. But it is what it is. I'm not one to complain about it. Or else just, it it's only fishing, isn't it? End of the day. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It, um, I, I think you're right, but I, I also do think that people shouldn't. You don't need to chuck massively long, do you? There. I mean, we're all in like a bay, aren't we? So like, there's we're on that straight there on 70s. There's 80s there. And there's 60s that side, and everyone's chucking into the middle, aren't they? We ideally, in an ideal scenario. Me and him should chuck out 
and we should meet we as feeders to start with. You know what I mean? We should chuck out, so you'll chuck out, mate, you know, halfway you win, I'll chuck out, and then it'll be like we'll be on a similar line and then we'll decide where we want to go from there, won't we? Yeah. But we obviously can't go any further. But, but it's, not, just, it's not ideal, yeah, is it? But uh, end of day, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, so I just, it, it's, all, it's not been a big peg anywhere that long. But like I said, the only reason why I thought we would catch is because wind were blowing down and it weren't that cold, were it? Quite warm. Yeah, not at all. Um, so I thought that we were going to get a few carp. But you had a nice little battle with outside you as well, didn't you? What yeah, are you doing by three pounds? Three pounds, six ounces, I think. Yeah, you've got a nice little uh, battle you had with it, mate. Yeah, we're a good angler and all, weren't they? Nice That's guy nice. as well, so. I don't know his name, but decent, uh, decent guy. We've had um, it went a bit of a calamity in a day, though, wasn't it? Well, somebody well, left boat open, driving down bars, <coughs> down to go home. There's wellies, buckets, wheel kits for barrows. Yeah, we it was like a jumble <coughs> sale behind us, like somebody left a trail of spice. Apparently, I, I'm in charge of closing the boat, which. I don't think I am because it's Luke's car. He's, he, he, he's, Luke he's, said, you said to me, get in Dave. All right, mate, no worries, I'll get in, mate. And he's then, chief boot shutter. <laughs> chief boot shutter. Oh, no, no, again. Chief boot shutter. Yeah, that's all you're here for. <laughs> all right, thanks. Yeah, and then, um, oh, in fact, another one and all that dog, thanks a lot for shitting on me uh, bungee straps. Yeah. Really appreciate that. When I've gone to pull them on, there's my hand just caked in crap, dog crap. Which were nice, wasn't it, Dave? Yeah. Well, nice little thing there to finish day off. Yeah, well, you didn't have a right to day, did you, really? Yeah. But, um, we still had a laugh, didn't we? And no, then, on way back and all, the reason why we didn't do a video on way back, Luke, Luke were like, he's there driving, he's like nearly falling asleep at wheel. We had to pull over, get a coffee. <laughs> Wake up. It, what, it, what bad, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. I were absolutely knackered. You were knackered, weren't you? And then, um, Tyson Fury fight, weren't they, last night? Watched it, yeah, I watched it this morning. Um, it's an absolute joke. That's what that is. I, I didn't watch it, but apparently he should have won, shouldn't he? Yeah, Tyson and Fury. do you know, for him to get up and all, for, we already got up after he got knocked down by uh, big Deontay Wilder just shuffling along, getting it big, and, and he's out, you seen Deontay Wilder's eyes when he saw Tyson Fury get up off that floor. He was absolutely gutted. But you were, you were clean, you were absolutely clean knocked out Tyson yeah. Furore, yeah. You could tell it what you were gone mate, and then he just he counted to six and that's it, he jumped straight up. <laughs> like he's late for work. <laughs> but yeah, um yeah so uh, we're on his way today to Feeder Masters. Um, but we thought we'd do a video it morning because um suicide watch. Suicide watch. Um so we're just here at Aston just gonna get a breakfast and then we've got to nip over to Feeder Masters. We are running so, slightly late, aren't we, but Yeah. Um, great day. Lee Kerry qualified. He won the match, didn't he? Nick's beat yet. So Lee Kerry won it, which just standard, isn't it, now? Oh, God. It just, I'm getting sick of it, aren't we? Yeah, he's just unbelievable, isn't he? Yeah. Great angler. Can't, can't say what else. He's just unbelievable. And then... Uh, Put him on fish, he'll do the rest, won't he? Yeah. Um, Nick Speed, well done. Nick Speed qualified as well. Um, nice guy, isn't he, Nick? Yeah. Awesome. Um, he can feed a fish, can't he? Yeah, no, no. And, well, you can tell we're at Aston because it bumps on road, can't you? Oh, um, who else? Uh, oh, you mean our zone? I don't know his name. What was his name now? Nah. We're an alright guy, wasn't he? I don't yeah, know his nice name, guy. But... I can't remember his name, but well done, fella. I'll put the results up for you now and you can have a look. Um, so, yeah, great day. Hope it's not too bumpy for you. And um, <laughs> we'll catch you next time. Um, next time at the Feeder Masters, Luke, won't we? Yeah, that's it.